I guess no one realized where Jim Valvano's dream machine was headed when it steamed into the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia. But those who hopped aboard rode his cardiac contraption to the top. Hello, everybody. Jim Valvano, NC State basketball coach. I hope you're enjoying this musical journey to the final four in the national championship with the Wolfpack of NC State. I'll tell you, I certainly enjoyed the journey, and I'd like to have you relive it with me a little bit. Let's track the Wolfpack from the Omni in Atlanta to the national championship in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was a dream come true. The road to Albuquerque, as they said on television, was a dream for me that I'll certainly never, ever forget. And I hope that you enjoyed traveling there with us. It started on March the 11th in the Omni in Atlanta. An inauspicious beginning against a ball club from Wake Forest that we had beaten by 41 points just the week before. Rudd makes the inbound pass into the backcourt to Danny Young. And immediately the clock is moving. Young lobs it over to Rudd. Rudd down to the right corner to Rogers. Back out. Interception by Sidney Lowe. Lowe bringing it down for State has the ball. And Sidney intercepts the pass. Now the Wolfpack, 15 seconds. Over to Wittenberg. Wittenberg back out to Lowe. And Lowe wants a timeout. 10 seconds left to play in the ball game. The score is tied. Wolfpack in the backcourt. Sidney Lowe. Sidney will have to hurry. Seven seconds. Six. Lowe with the ball. Underneath. Charles with a shot. He's fouled. Three seconds left. And Lorenzo Charles will go to the free throw line. Charles at the free throw line. Earl Bailey came over and said something to him. Two shots coming for Charles. Three seconds left. 70 to 70 to score. 
All right, the first one from Charles is short. Hit the front of the rim. One more coming. Now it gets a little bit more important. 70 apiece. Now Lorenzo Charles, the crowd is buzzing. All right, Charles, free throw is good. Three seconds left. Okay, we're going to pick up on it. Delaney Rudd will put it in bounds. Lorenzo, no, that's Kozel McQueen right in front of him. Stayed in a straight-up man-to-man. They got to throw it over 6-11. How's it going to be? It's into Young. Young gets the shot off, and it is no good, and State is won. Danny Young got it off, missed it. It was some kind of ball game, and uh, Jim Valvano's Wolfpack has won it. The final score, North Carolina State 71, Wake Forest 70. I knew it was going to be a tough basketball game. I knew that Coach Carl Tacey would have his Deacons ready to avenge that defeat on senior day in Raleigh. And it was just that, a very tough basketball game and a very difficult beginning and one where no one could have imagined where it might end. The score, 71-70, to 70, a one-point victory against Wake Forest, Steeman Deacons. But it put us in game number two. And that was going to be a game against, that's right, the Tar Heels of North Carolina. We had an emotional victory on February the 19th, and now on the 12th of March, the second round of the ACC tournament, we knew it was going to be no easy ball game against Dean Smith's ball club, and it wasn't. But who could have thought that Derek Wittenberg would be held virtually scoreless for most of the game, and then in overtime... Wittenberg scores 11 points. I'll never forget the jumper, the three-pointer that got us close, the drive on the baseline that put us up one, and Wittenberg's free throws down the stretch that earned a 91-84 victory against Carolina and win number two in a row against the Tar Heels. Now, one minute remaining in the overtime. Wittenberg driving down, going to take it under. Turns, lays it up. Good. State has the lead. Derek Wittenberg driving for a reverse layup. And it's State 83, Carolina 82. Hale in the left corner. Out to Matt Dorn. Down to Perkins. He puts up a shot. Missed it. And the rebound grabbed by State with the Wolf Pack with the ball. Wittenberg, and he's fouled. A Carolina foul. If it's on Perkins, that's his fifth. The foul is on Perkins. He's out of the ball game. The Wolfpack has a one-point lead. Derek Wittenberg made the basket. Derek Wittenberg got the rebound. Wittenberg will go to the free throw line. State 82, Carol, uh, 7, 83, 82. Now 84, 82. Derek Wittenberg has given the Wolfpack a two-point lead. Now Wittenberg with a bonus opportunity. Now it's up. Now it's in. North Carolina State 85, North Carolina 82. And obviously the Tar Heels will be looking at a three-point play. Half minute left. Braddock drives to the corner. Comes back outside to Matt Doherty. Matt Doherty backhands it to Hale. Down to Hunter. He tries to jump her. It is in, out, and in. A good one. Inbounds, and there's a foul on Carolina. Right away took one second off the clock. And uh, Derek Wittenberg will go to the free throw line. He has scored, what, eight points now or nine? Which well, it's 6-9. Uh, nine. nine all this overtime. Makes another one. Ten points for Wittenberg, and he's done it in less than five minutes. He, and he's certainly been the spark for the Wolfpack. He stayed 86, Carolina 84. Wittenberg's bonus free throw is good also. And it's now stayed 87, Carolina 84. 17 seconds left. Braddock pulls up, tries a three-pointer, misses it. Rebound goes off, and it's state. It comes out the low. Sydney's going down. Wait a minute. Clock had stopped. The official a foul, call, a foul on Carolina in the backcourt. It was on Steve Hale. Ten seconds left of the overtime. State 87, Carolina 84. Thurl Bailey shoots. Thurl Bailey makes it. Thurl is really relieved at that one. 84, 88. Wolfpack by four. Thurl Bailey has a bonus coming. This has been a tremendous comeback by State in the overtime. It's up. It's good. Thurl Bailey makes both of them. State by five. And now the inbound pass to Hale. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. 
Hale tries a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound, Thurl Bailey. And he's fouled immediately. With three seconds left, State is going to the championship. Dream number one for me, the finals against Virginia's Cavaliers and Ralph Sampson, the player of the year in college basketball. Never beaten Ralph in, in the three years I've been here and a great basketball game. We brought it in Atlanta, down in Demon Brew, stomping heels in rhythm as we wrecked the old wall. The score is now 78-72. Wolfpack in the backcourt, getting it across to Lorenzo Charles, hands it off to Sidney Lowe. A minute and a half left in the ballgame. Lowe off to Wittenberg, back to Lowe along the right sideline. Sidney is fouled by Stokes. First chance for Lowe is up. It's no good. He missed it. Carlisle rebounds for Virginia. Comes to Stokes, back to Carlisle. Carlisle underneath, and the ball is knocked away. Virginia ball. A minute 18 remaining. Lob into Sampson. Ralph Sampson kicks it. Picked up by Carlisle. Shoots, misses. Stokes follows, misses, rebounded by Miller, blocked! Lorenzo Charles gets it, Thurl Bailey blocks the shot, Lorenzo Charles has it, he's fouled! State, 78, Virginia 72, free throws, missed another one, rebounded by Miller, Miller comes off to Carlisle, Carlisle with the ball, to Wilson, tries a three-pointer, it's no good, no, it bounces in, it hit the front of the basket, and rolled over and went in, and Virginia calls for a timeout. 54 seconds left, the Wolfpack with a three-point lead, that's one goal in this league, Sidney Lowe will make the inbounds pass, he gets it into Charles, and there's a foul right away on Rick Carlisle, Lorenzo Charles at the line, it is up, it is no good, rebounded by Wittenberg, he piles up and is traveling. Wittenberg foul, took step, Virginia's ball, 51 seconds left to play, Virginia will have possession, State 78, Virginia 75, Ricky Stokes front court for the Cavaliers, bounces to Carlisle, now to Miller, underneath to Sampson, Sampson loses it, Terry Gannon stole it, Gannon stole it to Thurl Bailey, and Bailey is clobbered by Miller, oh, Terry Gannon, Trick the pocket of Ralph Sampson. Bailey at the line. His free throw, good. The Wolfpack finally gets the front end of a one and one. State 79, Virginia 75. Thorough free throw, missed it. Derek Wittenberg rebound, and he's traveling again when he fell. State 79, Virginia 75, Virginia ball. Stokes is in the backcourt. Guarded by Gannon, comes across the 10 second line. Looking ahead. Lobs one into Miller. Miller back out. Wilson tries a three-pointer. He hit! Othell Wilson scores, but Virginia has no timeout. 15 seconds left. The Wolfpack trying to get it inbound, and they do. It's to Gannon. Gannon cross-court to Wittenberg. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Finally a foul on Othell Wilson with six seconds left. 79-78, the Wolfpack by one. Derek Wittenberg free throw is good. 80-78. to Wittenberg free throw is up, it's in again. State in a full court press. Inbounds, it comes, Newberg. Newberg down across, he dishes it off, and the ball is taken by Stokes, he shoots it, it's so good! And the ball game is over! North Carolina State has won the championship! North Carolina State has won the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship! Jim Balvano, the coach of the year in the ACC, undoubtedly has won the championship here, defeating the number two Cavaliers of Virginia came from behind in the second half and defeated the Cavaliers. Atlanta's an awful good town for the Wolfpack, I'll tell you that. And what it did for us was an automatic berth to the NCAA tournament. A lot of people thought we had to win three to get into the tournament, and we had won three. The championship was ours. Raleigh went berserk. The party started something we never could have realized what it was going to lead to. Parties in a brickyard in Hillsborough Street.
Yep, Raleigh celebrated the victory, but little did they know what was in store. March 18th, the date, the site Gill Coliseum in Corvallis, Oregon. And as some people have said, it may not be the end of the world, but you can sure see it from there. It took us a long time to get there. And we're playing the Pepperdine Waves, a club, pretty good basketball club. Ironically, the only game I had seen them play was against a club from Houston, the Houston Cougars. Pepperdine lost by one. Houston, pretty fair bought basketball team. I didn't know it was in store for us with Houston at this point, but we played poorly. Got off to a bad start, oh, and really the dream may have started here because the pack was down by five with 24 seconds to play. When we, re we resorted to committing some fouls, they missed shots, we came back. Kozel McQueen knocks in a jumper to send the game into double overtime. 29 seconds left. We're in overtime, though, 59-55, and Dane Suttle, leading scorer for the Waves, is at the free throw line, and he missed it! Rebound, Wolfpack, Lorenzo Charles comes to McLean, 25 seconds, into the Thurl, dunks it! Slam dunk for Thurl Bailey! Out it goes to Suttle, and he's fouled by George McLean. The Wolfpack is pulled within two on a great pass from George McLean to Thurl Bailey, who drove for the slam dunk. 20 seconds left to play. How about Dane Suttle missing that free throw a moment ago? You don't count on that happening, but he did, and the Wolfpack is within two. Remember, they were six points down with a minute and a half left to play in this overtime. Now the same Dane Suttle is back at the free throw line. Suttle has a one and one. It's up. It is so good. The Wolfpack has the ball. They can tie it up. Now across midcourt, McLean, Jim Valveno says one shot. It's to Wittenberg. Derek tries and he is blocked. Derek Wittenberg will go to the line. Nine seconds left. Wittenberg's first one is up and he missed it. Rebound McQueen and it's good. The score is tied. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, one. He throws it up. It's so good. Another overtime. 69-67, double overtime victory against Pepperdine's Waves. And once again, the people said the cardiac pack. That's when that began. The team of destiny, we were called. Winning close ones, fouling at the end, the opposition missing. Lucky Wolf Pack. But that luck was soon to end, they said, because the running rebels on March the 20th in Guild Coliseum came in to take on NC State. Jerry Tarkanian's club, 28-2, ranked in the top three in the country, had been number one in the country. They said, well, the Wolf Pack will get its comeuppance here. Score, 71 NC State, 70 for Las Vegas. And listen to these Oregon State fans yelling for the Wolf Pack. They want to see another comeback. Sydney Lowe out deep, a minute 15 left in the ball game. 69-67. Are we setting up for another overtime? Hand it off to Wittenberg. 68 seconds left. Wittenberg driving. He shoots. He was fouled before it was put up there. Wittenberg sight shoots and misses. 45 seconds left. The Wolf Pack with the ball. Wittenberg across midcourt. 70 to 67. There's a lob to Thurl Bailey. A jumper. Good. Thurl makes another one. And the Wolf Pack gets a timeout. Wally Osley with Gary Dornberg. We're in Corvallis, Oregon with just 36 seconds left on the clock and the Wolfpack trailing by one. All right, Las Vegas with the ball. Terry Gannon fouls immediately in the backcourt. He shoots and he missed it. Rebound, Lorenzo Charles. The Wolfpack can win it. A half minute left. State with the ball. Now they go into their rotation offense. State's going to hold for the last shot. Sidney Lowe goes to Wittenberg. Derek back out to Lowe, 17 seconds. 
It's going to be win or lose right here in the last 13, 12, 11. Counting down. Wittenberg with the ball. He tries a 20-footer. He missed it. Half up. Bailey missed. Bailey good. Merle Bailey makes it. Merle Bailey with a tap in. Ball over. And North Carolina State has upset University of Nevada at Las Vegas. Coming from behind to eliminate the Rebels with the final score, North Carolina State 71, Nevada Las Vegas 70. Another buzzer beater, another heart stopper when Thurl Bailey rebounded a Derek Wittenberg shot with four seconds on the clock, tapped, missed, grabbed it, shot, score, over. Wolfpack advances to the next round of the NCAA. Nearly a double overtime and a one-point victory. That's all, folks. March 24th, the D Center in Ogden, Utah. The University of Utah just had upset UCLA's Bruins. A major upset in college basketball. Now we're playing Utah in Utah, 30 minutes from their campus. 11,000 people, 10,000 of them rooting for the running Utes. Oh, the Wolfpack is on target tonight. Nobody can beat them the way they're playing. Utah still with the ball. Now to Robinson for an outside jumper. His is no good. Rebounded by Williams. Follow, no good. Followed by mine and blocked by Thurl Bailey. Thurl gets it off. Down it comes from Wittenberg to Lowe for the layup. Good. Thurl Bailey made it happen. Blocked the shot. Got the ball and fed it down. Rebound down by Fergus. Fergus blocked shot by Thurl Bailey again. And he takes it away. A long one to Sydney. Dishes it off to Bailey for the dunk. A sky dunk by Thurl Bailey. He has 10 all this half. And the Wolfpack has roared to a 66-48 lead. Two and a half minutes left in the ball game. Folks, an incredible display of shooting by Wittenberg and Bailey and Lowe and Lorenzo Charles and everybody played well. Terry Gannon, final score, 75 NC State, 56 Utah, and the dream continued. The finals of the Western Region, March 26th, Ogden, Utah, the D Center. And who are we playing? Nobody but Ralph Sampson again for the fourth time in the same season. The player of the year in college basketball three times this year going for the big one, the national championship. They went for the ACC title just a short while before, and NC State denied them this. Most of the world said, hey, there's no way the pack can stop Ralph and that gang again. A lob to Sampson, he dunks it. Exactly what the Cavaliers wanted. Sampson with a slam dunk gives the Cavaliers the lead, 61 to 59. Wittenberg, he fires from 22 feet and hits. Another downtown for Wittenberg. Mr. Take Charge, and he has 24. What a battle for player of this tournament between Sampson and Wittenberg. 61 all. You talk about excitement, the pack's right in it again. The cardiac pack, they call them. One attack after another. Wolf pack ball at midcourt. Wally Osley with Gary Dornberg. Inbounds to Bailey, back to low. We're into the final 40 seconds now. Jim Valvano has set his strategy. I don't think he'll sit on it for a final shot, but he'll wait for the one they want. Low is out deep. Now a half minute left. Gannon bouncing it off to Wittenberg. The way that guy's been shooting. Here's Derek moving up the lane, dishing it off. Charles shot. It is no good. And there was a Virginia foul. All right, Charles at the line for two. 23 seconds remaining. His free throw is up, and it is good. Ties the score. Lorenzo Charles has made a big one. Now the second opportunity for Charles. He puts it up, and he hits. State has the lead, 63 to 62. Virginia now. Othell Wilson taking his time, and timeout for Virginia. It's the final 17 seconds. Mullen puts it inbounds to Carlisle, 15, 14. Handed off to Othell Wilson. Well, he's the guy. Let's watch it. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 
Othell Wilson with the ball. Outside it comes. Mullen takes the shot. He missed it. Rebound Wilson. His shot is no good. And the state has won it. <laughs> North Carolina State has upset Virginia. The Cavaliers had their opportunity. It would not go. The Wolfpack champion of the Far West Regionals. Another great basketball game. Final score, 63-62. A one-pointer. Come from behind. Missed free throw by Othell Wilson with a minute and five to play. And the pack comes back. Wittenberg drives, passes off to Lorenzo Charles. He's fouled. He knocks in two free throws. Down by one, and the pack survives. The last second scare, a missed shot, a tap. 63-62, and it's off to the final four. Now listen to the stories old Wally Osley spun. Paul Venno stroked his engines for the Albuquerque run. Blew the ball down bullet. Ren Albuquerque, Sidney Lowe with the ball, breaks down the baseline, whips it back out to Winberg. 22-footer on the way, in and out. Rebounded by McQueen, up and in. Wittenberg gets past his man. Comes out to low, now he feeds Bailey, got the 15-footer, missed it. Rebound McQueen underneath, puts it up, and good again. Sydney along the right sideline, goes to the corner, he pops from there and hits. Fakes the shot, then pulls left, jumps, shoots off the glass, good. What a move by Sydney low. He left the defensive guy hanging. Now to Wittenberg in the corner, fakes right, goes left, drives, dishes it off. McQueen layup, good. There were bodies all over the deck. But Kozell paid no attention. Tap back out by Kozell McQueen. Grab by Lowe, two on one to Bailey. Thurl ducks it. State has its biggest lead of the day, 57 to 41. And here it is, April the 4th, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the NCAA Finals. Who could have thought the pack from nine and seven started in Atlanta the road to Albuquerque, the last game of the season. Most people said what? Goodbye, Pack. Phi Jamma Slamma is going to do it to him. One newspaper said that trees would dance and elephants would drive in Indianapolis 500 and Orson Welles would give up breakfast, lunch, and dinner before the Pack would beat Houston. Score 54, NC State. 52 for Phi Slamma Jamma. Wally Osley here with Gary Dornberg at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, it's been my pleasure to broadcast the Wolfpack for 23 straight years now. This has been the most exciting team that we've watched, I suppose, for our surprises. Get it to Elijah Wan. Here's the big guy, squealing, shot, blocked by McQueen. Gozell blocks it and got it down, too. And Houston definitely now has it on a little crushed ice anyway, wouldn't you say? Yep. There's the ball knocked away by Sidney. Lowe makes the steal. Low down across midcourt, goes to the free throw alley, dishes to Wittenberg, tries the 22-footer, bangs it in! Gannon back out the low, he pops the 20-footer, bangs it in! So now the Wolfpack is within two, 44-42. Don't give up on the cardiac kid, the Cinderella bunch yet. He's going to try a 22-footer, he hits again! Terry Gannon burning another one! 46-44, Houston by two. Elijah one turns, puts the jumper over McQueen, good. Houston 48, the Wolfpack 44. Franklin goes down to the corner. There's a baseline drive and a shot by Young. It's good. 50 to 44. Houston by six. There's a jumper by Lowe from DP hit. Good 25 feet away. 50 to 46. Clyde Drexler, a 6'7 junior, going to the free throw line. And he has just added another one. 51-46. He makes this one 52-46. Sidney moves to the right, gets a pick, shoots over McQueen, and hits again. Sidney Lowe is picking him right now. He has eight, 52-48. Wittenberg passes man up the lane, puts it off the glass, missed it. Rebounded by Elijah one. Throws it and intercepted by Sidney Lowe in the backcourt. Lowe goes to Wittenberg, shoots in the left corner. Swing! Derek Wittenberg in the corner, and the Wolfpack is within two. Down in the left-hand corner, Young goes to Elijah one. He shoots over McQueen, and he missed it. Tapped out by McQueen, grabbed by Lowe. Sidney into the front court. Sidney Lowe whips it down to Whitberg. 25-footer, good! 
He has tied the score. All Jim Valvano has ever asked for from his ball club is to be in a position at the end of the game to at least have a chance to win. Can you believe it? The national championship resting now on the Wolfpack hand. 44 seconds left. The game tied at 52 all. The pack with the ball. Inbounds, and the Wolfpack has it at midcourt, and the clock is ticking. Wittenberg's double team gets it to Gannon, who's checked in. Now to Lowe. A half minute left in the ball game. Wittenberg, double team, goes to Gannon. State has it spread out right now. A lob to Bailey, 25 seconds left. Thurl gets it back to Gannon, now to Wittenberg at the center line. Now along in the left corner, back down to Bailey on the left sideline, to Gannon in the middle. They're spread in four corners, back to Wittenberg, 14, 13. Now to Gannon. Gannon back to low, 10 seconds. Now Sydney goes to Bailey in the corner. Five seconds left to Wittenberg. Wittenberg tries about a 30-footer. No good step back. Lorenzo Charles, State. Lorenzo Charles slams it in. A missed shot from 35 feet. Up, Lorenzo Charles Pack people feeling right. The Carolina Groovy, a slam dunk. Absolutely incredible victory. The road to Albuquerque complete. What started in Atlanta ended in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the dream survived.
Number one, sir. 